But let's start with the point that Jensen made, the tremendous impact that TSMC has had. Not only uh, it, the creation of the fabulous semiconductor uh, industry that I think couldn't exist without, without that leadership, but also the tremendous impact it had on the Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing and really being the spearhead for the growth of that industry. Did you anticipate those kinds of changes when you began the company? Did you think you could have that kind of impact around the world? No, uh, not at all, John. Actually, um, the uh, very uh, idea, the, the new business model, uh, the pure play foundry business model, uh, now everybody uh, thinks that uh, it was a pretty clever idea. Uh, but at the time, it was really a solution that was looking for a problem. Uh, uh, because, um, as uh, Jensen said, it was, a, it was meant to be a platform. The problem was that at the time, nobody needed that platform. There were very few fabulous companies in existence at that time. There were maybe 20-some fabulous companies. Now, even those fabulous companies did not think that they needed a TSMC. Uh, but they, they, they felt that they would rather go to Toshiba, NEC, Hitachi, Fujitsu, or even Intel, or TI for uh, fab service, foundry service. Now, of course, I mean, those big guys uh, the the uh, Japanese companies, the Intel's and TI's, uh, really didn't want them, you know. And they would make stuff, make wafers for for the the little fabulous companies, only at a, a very steep price, not a financial steep price, but the price of wanting their designs uh, for their own sales, for their own products sales. But still. Uh, we were not trusted enough, our technology was not trusted enough uh, that uh, they would uh, come to us. So, uh, uh, and the big companies obviously didn't need us. Now, so it was a solution waiting for a problem to happen. Now, the, the problem happened uh, pretty quickly uh, in the early 90s. Uh, and I think that our existence certainly uh, uh, helped uh, to accelerate the formation of a lot of fabulous companies. Uh, there were maybe 25 fabulous companies in the whole world in 1985, 86, and then 10 years later, there were 400, 500 fabulous companies. And some of the big ones uh, were started uh, in that period, in that 10-year period. Yeah. I mean, ha having worked in a fabulous company, been involved in starting two of them, one before TSMC that had to do exactly as you say, go form partnerships with the big players who, this was not their primary business, and then forming one at Theros with TSMC. It was yeah. night and day. Yeah. Completely different yeah. kind of experience. Right. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Right. I so know. talk about the talk about the impact on Taiwan as well. I mean, the, the catapulting of, of Taiwan into the semiconductor manufacturing business in a big way. I, I think in many ways uh, we uh, were the first in Taiwan. Uh, we we were not the first uh, semiconductor company in mm -hmm. Taiwan. Taiwan had uh, other semiconductor companies uh, before TSMC started. Uh, but uh, uh, we certainly became the most successful semiconductor company uh, in Taiwan uh, after a few years, uh, after only a few years. And uh, also, uh, we, I think that uh, we, we really set a model, uh, I hope, uh, uh, for Taiwan in corporate governance, in um, uh, innovations. Uh, um, uh, now most, most, almost 95, 90, 
nine percent of Taiwan companies operate with uh, hair thin gross margin. You know, mm. gross margin four or five percent, uh, and uh, they don't have money for R&D. They don't even have money for sales marketing. For for heaven's sake, with four or five percent gross margin, and, and uh, we, I believe, were the first company that showed them that. Uh, uh, to to be a world class company, to be a real successful company, you needed to have R and D. You needed to have good sales marketing, and uh, and because you needed to have R and D, your gross margin would ha- would have to be in the forty fifty percent range. Right. Yeah. Uh, so we we I think we set the first example, and on corporate governance, uh, you know. <laughs> I believe that we uh, we set an example also. Uh, uh, so I think uh, TSMC uh, did uh, 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 begin to acquire a, a, a different meaning in, in, in Taiwan as a corporation.